a sun-kissed sky reflected back on clear water. And it was a big difference. Just enjoying it. I've been in the water for about like three hours now. And it was also just hours ago that the Naples Pier and seven other Collier County beaches saw swim advisories for high bacteria levels. That is pretty gross. Lifted. And even better news for the first time in months, no red tide for miles along southwest Florida's coast. They sampled, saw it, and they went back and resampled and saw that it went away. Marine science professor at FGCU Mike Parson suspects bacteria from the bottom of the ocean was stirred up with recent rough water in the Gulf. The storm can be out in the Gulf of Mexico and the waves can travel from that storm. May Dreyfus was at the beach Thursday when the advisory was still in place. Yesterday was like a washing machine, basically. There was a big current to the north. She says her son still got in the water. I always try to say, be careful falling. Just don't put your ears in the water and your nose. While it's safe to go swimming again, experts say it'll only take another storm this hurricane season to bring it back temporarily. I am a little bit hesitant, but I mean, I want to enjoy the ocean and if they say it's clear, I trust them.